Hi guys, welcome back to another craft with me video. I know today is not normally my day to post a um, project video, but um, I did take yesterday off as kind of a personal day. Um, but I still had this project on my desk that I needed to kind of move off so that I can continue with more projects for next week. And so I wanted to still share this video with you. So I decided to just go ahead and post it today, Saturday. And um, it's a one page wonder. It's going to be a super cute, super, super easy um, little uh, pocket folio, I guess. And it's going to be kind of like an ephemera holder. So all it does is has it has pockets. It has eight pockets. And look at how cute this little thing is. And so I'm using completely one whole 12 by 12 page. And so here you open it and you have two pockets here. Okay, and then you open it again. You have two little side pockets here. You have pockets here, and then you have pockets up here. And so this is a perfect way to kind of give um, little ephemera if you want to keep you know, a bunch of these off to the side and keep your favorite ephemera or stickers um, that you want to keep maybe stashed or organized away these are a perfect little gift as well if you want to add these to happy mail or give to a crafty friend these are going to be perfect so i made a few so this one i did use double-sided paper the cardstock and so you can see here this is one side this is another and it's super cute i love it because like that you can see exactly where the pockets are and so love, love, love this one. But I did want to also give you an alternative to um, just using regular, um, regular paper. You know what I mean? Like the thin paper. So here you have a pocket here. You have your pockets here. You have them up there. So you can still use your regular lightweight 12 by 12 if you want if you have a lot like I do and need to get rid of some <laughs> so this would be a fun way to use that as well so here's this one and all we did was use little um the velcro dots this is the invisible one so I put the invisible one on the bottom oh that one kind of tongue-tied me a little bit and then I used brads just to kind of give it a cute little look. And I'll show you once at the end of this video, the ones that I had already decorated. And so here's another one using just the regular weight, the regular thin paper. So cute, right? Okay, so let's get started. This is what we're gonna be using. We're gonna need brads if you wanna use brads to kind of accentuate your, <laughs> your little closure. So I'm using those and I'm using the bigger ones. And so I just kind of grabbed um, some of the bigger ones that I had. Of course, our little Velcro dots. So I have those. I have my one and a half inch punch, the um, EK punch, one and a half inch, I'm using that one. Um, of course, my mini one. So that's just kind of a given. Um, your bone folder, your glue. I'm going to be using a walnut stain to um, just kind of give this a little bit of a distressed look. And of course, your 12 by 12. Now, again, you don't have to use double sided. You don't have to use cardstock. You can use the regular thin one. But we're just going to use this one just to kind of um, uh, play around with this one because I haven't made one with the, like the craft cardstock. So I just wanted to see what this one's going to look like. So, and I do have my big, sorry, we, I do have my big scoreboard and trimmer, um, here on my desk already. Um, I think it's best if you use a cardstock that maybe is not too directional. Like this one has flowers on it. And so I'm going to turn it off to the side because I'm going to fold it. And now because it's floral, I, I feel like it'll be okay to see it this way or this way. You know what I mean? This is the normal way. But I'm going to turn it off to the side. And then I'm going to be scoring at four and a half. Let me get my, my notes out here. Because we're going to be doing a lot of scoring. So I'm going to score here at four and a half. Oops. What is happening? I already scored it. But I wanted to score it again at four and a half. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and fold that this way. Okay. So let me just kind of 
press that down. And then this part here, we're going to trim. We're gonna take that part off because we're gonna use that for our pockets and for the closure. So putting it here at four and a half, and then I'm just going to cut it down. Now, I actually like that I trimmed just the tiniest little ribbon of this. So like that, I know that it's it's going to be completely even. So there's that. And this is going to be used for our pockets. So keep that off to the side. Now, this one is going to be our actual little folio. Now, we're going to be using it this way up. But just to score it, I'm going to be turning it upside down so that the fold is at the edge here. And we're going to be scoring. And again, I will be leaving all of the measurements and the scoring in the description box so that you can refer back to it later. But we're going to be scoring at 2 and 7 eighths. Make sure I got that down. At 6 inches. And then at 9 and 1 eighths. Okay, so there's that. And then let's go ahead and move this. I don't think I'm gonna be needing this anymore, but I'm gonna leave it off to the side just in case. And so now, of course, we need the um, open part at the top. Now I'm just going to be folding in. And then, what do they call this? Varnishing? I don't know. But you know, pressing down your fold. And then we're gonna do this inwards here too. Pressing down, creasing that fold. And then we're gonna be doing that again to crease down that middle fold. Just getting that nice and creased. Okay, so here it is. Now we're going to be using our punch and we're gonna start punching. So again, making sure that you have the open part on the top. I'm going to start punching out the notches here. Here, I'm just using kind of an, I'm just eyeballing it, but kind of an inch maybe off. And so I'm gonna do that on both sides. Again, leaving about an inch here, just kind of eyeballing it. Okay, so there's my notches there. And literally, the notches, that's all the waste you're gonna have from this project. And then we're going to be doing the two parts in here, the little notches. So let's add the notches here. Again, just eyeballing the center. And here you don't need to keep it folded you can't open it okay and that's that's all the waste you're gonna have from this that's it pretty cool right okay so there's this now if you want to we can go around And just kind of before we glue anything down we can just distress it just a tiny bit make sure you get all of the folds and the notches it just kind of makes it stand out a little bit more and again, doing the folds. Because this is already kind of a dark paper, I kind of just want to make sure that you can see where all of the notches are. where all the folds are. It just kind of makes it look neater. So 
So that's all the inside. Now I'm gonna do this here on the bottom. Okay, I think we did that side already. So now I'm gonna do all here. Let's just keep going around. I figure this is an, a super easy project and it doesn't take long at all. And you'll see. So I actually had a lot of fun with it last night and I made, uh, let's see, how many did I make? Six? <laughs> so, and just trying out different papers just to see, and actually any paper works. So this is really going to work out great with any of your papers that you have in your stash. So I think we got it. So let's go ahead and put that off to the side. So there you go. There you see your little notches here and here. And then this is the, going to be the front cover. So now we can go ahead and glue. Okay, I'm going to, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a guideline. This is not necessary, but I'm just doing this so that you can see where I'm going to be gluing. Okay, so this is where we're gluing. Let me get my glue bottle. So here on these both sides of the notches, we're just going to glue the top because it's gonna be a side, a side pocket. So we're just going to glue the top parts here on both of these and then these lines here. Okay, so let me go ahead and just do a line of glue there and then here, here, here. and the top here. Okay, see that? Tops on both sides and all of the folds. Now we're just gonna close this up, press it down, make sure everything's glued down. And there we have our pockets. Cute, right? I'm just gonna press this down. And now we can start with our little pockets. So this one, we're going to be using it this way, just so that you can kind of see. So I'm going to be using this strip long ways. It just works out better for me this way. And I'm going to get my pen and just kind of eyeball and mark it where I want my fold, my little flap to be. And I'm, this is where my little trimmer is gonna come in handy. And so I'm gonna cut this, and I'm gonna actually cut this in a diagonal like this, straight across. And this is gonna be for either side. Let me do it in the middle so that I don't get that corner there. See, now this is gonna fit here. Now this one, because we're laying it different, because I want them to both be going this way, because normally this is cut to be this way, but I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look like this. And so this is gonna be a little bit longer, so all we're gonna do is trim it, no big deal. So let me just ink this. And then here, I'm just going to get my, my little scissors and trim this little part off here. There, that's it. Okay, so just we're, we're just gonna glue these here. So just gluing the sides. I'm not gonna worry about that little tip that we just cut. We're gonna leave that open. So I need to put more glue in my bottle here. Okay. 
and we're going to add this here. Okay, and then we'll add this one here. Come on. Adding this one here. Perfect. Okay, so there's your little side pockets here and then this one I'm going to add it this way and I'm going to mark where exactly I want it now you don't want it to go all the way to the edge because and then uh, it's not gonna want to fold um, correctly so okay I already marked it so this is for this one I'm gonna use that same mark and kind of put it off to the side of that crease again so that I know where the second pocket needs to go. So there, I have my two pockets, if that makes sense. So here, I'm going to just trim these parts down. Okay, this is going to be for our closure, so hang on to that. Now this one, I am going to get out my little my little one of these. So these are our pockets this way. So I'm going to be putting them off to the side. And it's, it's just, this is optional. You can trim it off if you want. But I'm actually going to be folding it down like this just to give it a little bit of an extra um, layer on the top of our fold. On the top of our pocket, I mean. Because I didn't want to trim it because I didn't want to have any extra waste from our little 12 by 12. And so instead, I folded it down just to make it a little bit sturdier and then we can go ahead and glue this. So again, you don't have to do this part. This is just so that I don't waste, <laughs> so I don't waste any more paper, but I'm folding that down just to make it a tiny bit sturdier. We can fold it this way and give it like that little pretty look, but It'll, I feel like it'll just blend in. So I really want this to kind of be like this. So then we can go ahead and ink around these pockets. I'm using Walnut Stain. Did I say that? I don't remember. The supply list will be down in the description box. And this paper is actually from Hobby Lobby. So we're just going to add glue to the four side, I mean the three sides, not the four, just the three. And we're gonna add this. This is another reason why I like to add the distress ink to the folds like that you know exactly where they are and you don't have to be guessing and again we're gonna do the same thing to this one and then we'll do the closure and we're done this is going to be a fun little project for you to do especially this weekend and use up a lot of your 12 by 12 papers that we have in our stash that we're just kind of keeping <laughs> just to keep it's beautiful paper but look at that already and so now all we're gonna do I'm gonna hold that closed now again I'm going to use my actually I don't need it 
we're just going to eyeball it this is going to be our closure again using the outside the inside as our um as the closure just so that we can kind of see it a little bit better and it doesn't blend in so you can kind of tell this is a piece that is maybe three and a quarter by three and so because this side is longer we're going to fold it this way and so i'm going to fold it in half first so go ahead and fold that in half it doesn't have to be perfect but okay so we're folding that in half and then let me just so that I could see the fold and then I'm going to fold in again not not quite going to the actual fold just a tiny bit above it and then creasing that and then we're doing the same thing on this side again not quite getting to the fold but pretty close to it this is a little bit more of a thicker cardstock but it's manageable so let's go ahead and press it there okay now we can go ahead and glue these these folds down Pressing that down. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Pressing that down. Let's press that down nice and flat. Okay, and then it's going to go like this. So let's go ahead and ink around this. I'm actually going to do it on both sides because that flap you're going to be able to open it so you're going to see both sides of it on one end okay so before we do that I'm going to use this open part is going to be the bottom of our little flap and so I'm going to be doing it like this so I'm going to fold this in half Okay, so this is going to be our fold this way. And so with this on the bottom, now we know that this is going to be where we're going to put our eyelet, not our eyelet, our um, brad. So I'm going to be using my crocodile to just put in little punches here. So, oh, duh, I have it locked. I'm like, why isn't it going in? So I'm going to center that and then just add the smallest hole, which is the 1 8th, just so that we can put our little brads in. So this is all going to be done before we close it down, okay? So with this, it's uh, got a little bit of a pink hue to it, so I'm going to use this rose gold. And add these in. And then do the same for the other one. Now you don't have to do it on both sides. Again, this is just my preference. I just like the way it looks to have the little button look on both sides of the closure. I'm just pressing it down with my thumb just to kind of flatten that out as much as possible. Now, with our glue, we're going to close this up. And make sure that this gets pressed down. Okay. Again, the open fold is going to be on the bottom so that you can't see it from the top. Now, if this happens to where there's just a little bit of an of a flap coming out, guess what? Let's just trim that. OK, 
Okay. Now, making sure that we're putting it right side up with our little openings on the top. We're going to glue the back. I'm gonna kind of see where I want this, this to be. See how cute that is? Okay. And I'm going to just hold this with my fingers on the other side. Now you're not gonna to wanna to go all the way down to where, where the fold is because that fold is gonna be kind of in the air. See that? We wanna leave a little bit so that it's um, it has room to grow. Okay, and then on this side, being the opening this way, see that? Now we're going to use, now I'm just using the little ones. If you want, if you have the bigger ones, maybe from Dollar Tree, those will be good too. You'll just see it when it's open. But I'm going to get one of my little ones here, add that to this side. Okay, and then the clear one, I'm gonna actually connect those, sticky side up, and then close it down like this, pressing it down, and then it'll give me exactly where it'll stick to it, see? You can barely see it, but it'll stick to it, and there it is. There it is. Isn't it cute? Less than 30 minutes. And there it is. There you have your little ephemera holder. Um, how many how many pockets did I say? Two, four, six, eight. Your eight pocket ephemera holder. Oh, this didn't hold. What happened here? Let's glue that down again. No worries. So let's glue that down. I probably didn't put enough glue on that side, but that's okay. It's all done now. And there it is. There you have it. Now let me show you the ones that I did decorate. So this is just regular, thin, double, this is actually double-sided. Oh, sorry. Gotta press that down. Okay, this one is double-sided. And this one I already decorated. And this is actually that roll of the, the PET um, stickers that I got from Timu that I recently hauled. And so this one, look at how cute that is. So I put the little ladies in here and then look how cute. So you have your pockets in here. See that? Isn't that the cutest thing? So there's that one. Again, this is the thin paper. It just happens to be double-sided. Don't remember where I got this one, but there's that one. And then I made this one. Remember I got the, um, the plaid. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. Or was it Michael's? No, I think it was Michael's. I got the plaid um, paper pack. And if you remember my little paper dolls that I got, um, I think they were from Amazon. I'll try to remember to post all of that. And these are just die cut that I already had cut out already. But look how cute that is. And so here, because it was one-sided, I just kind of inked inside so that you won't see all of that white. And I did the same thing here. But see, you can still, it's it's a little camouflaged, but it's there, the pockets. And I just added the cute little dolls in there. And then this one I decorated the back too. Did I show you the back to this one? Yeah, I did. Okay. And then there's this one. This one was my first one that I did, but look at how cute. And it looks like he's actually leaning on the closure. Isn't that cute? 
And then here, I didn't put anything on the back. But this one is filled to the brim. Look at this. I cut these um, from the, um, what is it? I think it's called the Paper Doll Poses. That The new set that he came out with. And it came with the houses and the cars and everything. And so I just cut, this is one. I just cut it in half and I added one side to each. And I just had the little guys sitting on top. Now here I have with our little um, playing cards that we just did. And I, if you didn't see this video, I will link that down below. I got to remember to link all of these things. And so here's another one here. Perfect fit. Then you open it here. And these are the little fabric labels that we made. Again, linking that down below. So I put those on each side of that. And then these are our little um, Polaroid, the vintage Polaroids that we made. And this has, this one is just plain and it has just the vellum on top of it, just to kind of give it my, like that little frosty look. And so we have one on each. This one, I did add some clear um, embossing just to kind of give it that, that fun look. It gives that crackling too, I love that. So there's that project that we did. This one is a fabric tag. It just it just happened to fit perfectly. So this is a fabric tag we did a while back and I had charms on that one and that just happened to fit perfectly up here. And then this one, I have one of our, um, the glossy ephemeris, turning them into grungy and I used napkin, uh, a napkin layer, the white napkin layer and I um, put Mod Podge and I just kind of roughened it up. So, and that's that one. And again, just showing you the things that you can fit into these cute little things. So there's that one. But again, I made a bunch. So they're super easy. Love, love, love the way they came out. And there they are, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And I will see you probably not on Monday. I don't know if I have enough to share um, a haul video. But Tuesday for sure for a Tag Tuesday. So until then, have a great weekend. And I'll see you Tuesday. Bye, guys.